Good morning, guys. It has just gone 4.30 a.m. and uh, I'm never up at this time. But there is a cool thing happening this morning. Some of my friends who have a channel called Yes Theory, you may have heard of it, they're doing a shoot for their new uh, merchandise line, Seek Discomfort, and they're doing a hike in Topanga Canyon uh, for sunrise, again, which I rarely see. But um, a bunch of people are heading up. I thought it'd be fun to join them. So I've managed to pull myself out of bed. I'm about to head off. Yo! It's a little, it's a little early, but I guess that's what you gotta do for sunrise. <laughs> How are you feeling, Amar? Well, I just got back from there and it was absolutely beautiful. It's probably the clearest. I mean, I've been to Joshua Tree, we've been out into like a couple of hiking spots, but this was the clearest sky I've ever seen in California since, yeah. I, since I moved here. Uh, so yeah, it's really pretty up there and uh, we just have no idea how many people are going to show up. This is the first time we do like a meet up that way, but I think we're doing it the right way. Yeah. And Louis is here. Yeah, I'm here, Louis man. Is joining. This is a rare occasion getting up this early in the morning. This is crazy. Look, we are up above the clouds. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's We're almost at the spot where they're gonna throw this little impromptu party, Max style. You've seen it happen many times before in my vlogs, but Max is gonna lead everyone. I think there's almost 200 people here. Check it. This is such a crazy turnout. People have come here all day from San Francisco just for this, just for this little morning party. <laughs> It's probably only, only going to last like half an hour, then we're going to walk back. This is mental. Oh yeah, I love it. Look at his sombrero. Okay, we're just stepping, just warming up. We're basically in the cloud right now. But as soon as the cloud clears, the sun is just going to pop. I want you to put your right hand in the air. Turn to the person on your left and give them a huge high five! <laughs> yeah. hey. How are you doing, Max? Good morning. It's good, good to be back on the vlog. Good yeah. to be up early in the morning, before sunrise, out in West LA. I can't believe how many people I've turned off. This, this has got to be legendary, Louis. This is going to be good. Since, since you guys last saw Max, he has hiked up Kilimanjaro in Africa with this soundbox. And uh, I'm guessing that was a little bit harder than this hike we just done. A little bit, yeah, over the space <laughs> of seven days. Less people though, a lot less yeah. people. <laughs> I'm gonna link Max's video in, in the description because he killed it. I don't think I could do Kilimanjaro, to be honest. Oh. What the heck? And as you might see, we are on a 360 degree panoramic vista which we built a couple of days ago, but we won't go into that. Um, I want you to, for a second, think about the journey you have taken to come here. Everything you have faced, regardless of how big or how small, the journey you have come to stand on top of this mountain early, early in the morning. Think about where you're going, the goals you have, what you want to achieve, the people you want to achieve that with the incredible moments you have looking forward in your life, full of smiles, love and happiness. This is a big team, including including Cam, our editor, Marshall, our intern, Zach, our manager. This is, this is a lot of people that are responsible to bring you guys the, the content and, and make sure that Yes Theory stays, stays alive. So just as I started myself, I also would like to give credit to all those people that helped, to you guys for showing up today. But my name is Amar, I'm from Egypt, I'm 24. Yeah! years ago uh, and that changed my life and now we're here. My name is Thomas, I'm 
25, I'm from France, and I'm stoked that you guys are all here. Yeah! I just want to thank, we have so many friends, BC, Brody, the Tenzo guys, Ryan, Gracie, everybody that came out. We have such a great community of people, and this is part of it. You guys are all a freaking part of it. Mike is the man behind the drone. This is the Inspire in a really heavy carry case, which we're going to carry back down now. That was, that was such a fun morning. I feel for me, I have to have a reason to get up in the morning. And if I haven't got plans, I haven't got anything to get me out of bed, I'll end up getting out of bed at like 10, maybe 9.30. But if there's a reason, if there's a good reason like this morning to get up at I think it'll go up at 4.30. Okay, that's a little bit early, but you know what I mean, like, oh, it's well worth it. See you guys. Okay, we have arrived at the YouTube space. It's exciting because tonight I am um, airing on the big screen with some other creators, my Creators for Change kind of mini doc that I made and I've put on my channel. You've seen it. Um, the one with Ali, the kid from Afghanistan that fled to Iran and has this amazing story. Anyway, we're showing it on the big screen tonight and there's a bunch of other videos and there's musicians and I think like Hafer's here and stuff. And I've brought the whole house so we're gonna go check it out. I have just snuck in, did a little thing for camera for the Creators for Change team. Um, it's, we're showing it on the big screen in here tonight. There's gonna be a big audience. So um, I think the doors are about to open. I'm gonna nip back outside and try and grab some food before we start. Oh Guys, man. The, the guac is gone. What, no. what? Did you eat all the guac? I have some right here. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look, it's Haifa. So I want to welcome all of you to a very special uh, Creators for Change screening here at the YouTube Space LA tonight. Um, at YouTube, uh, we believe that the world is a better place when we listen, share, and build community uh, through our stories. Uh, YouTube Creators for Change is a critical part of this mission, and we're incredibly proud of the continued momentum of the creators from around the world who are using their voices to overcome uh, divisiveness and hate. Uh, yesterday, Creators for Change ambassadors came together to release over 50 films that promote tolerance, encourage empathy, and spark dialogue locally and globally. I think I need the mic. I need the mic. Pass the microphone, let me speak up and vent. The Middle East girls came down to represent. I'm Louis Cole, a filmmaker from the UK, and I'm passionate about travel, adventure, and telling stories that matter. You work so hard to make make your own future, and it's just honestly blowing me away. I think that it is a product um, of the experience, you know. I had no school, no money, no nothing, you know, and um, I didn't have any chance. But I'm now here in Germany. I can get every chance if I want, you know. I just have to want it. What is your advice for the others who is having less motivation in their life? Believe, believe in you, and um, just to want.
it was just mind blowing what he'd been through, just going from like, I couldn't even, just the start of the story, yeah, from the age of 10, to, you know, 12 hour days, seven days a week, I worked in a factory. I'm like, what? Like, I just, for years, and um, you're just like, how would that, I just have never spoken to anyone that's been through that kind of thing. And, and then to be like, how on earth did you get hit from that? To survive through all that and to have this drive to like, I'm gonna change my life. And then to get to Germany, and another thing that happened was, he learned fluent German in three months of arriving wow. in Germany. And, That's wild. And that kind of motivation and drive blew my mind. I was like, I, if, anyone, if anyone's struggling, they just need to watch this because no matter where you've been, it's unlikely you've been where he's been. And he's only 17 at this point, and he's like focused to a pinpoint of what he wants. It's amazing. I'm just like, wow, I, I kind of want us all to learn from him. So that was kind of what I took away was like, um, yeah, we, we, we want something. We need to go for it because we can't make excuses. I, I make so many excuses, but then you just need to look at that. We all need to be a little bit more like Ali. The evening is over. I'm just hanging out with uh, Paul here, one of the guys that runs. He That's works for YouTube. I think we're good. Let's have, <laughs> stand over here, come here. So uh, vlog hat on. He, he, he works for YouTube. He's one of the guys running this program. And I thought it'd be cool to grab him quickly for anyone watching the videos that also makes videos on YouTube and wants to get involved in some way or wants to make like positive content. Any advice? I think what we were just, what Louie and I were just talking about was that, um, and what we love about, you know, the Creators for Change program is that Creators for Change as an ethos existed before the program and before your involvement and anyone can get a camera and upload content on YouTube and, and I think what was very interesting about the panel is what you said and what Glenn was saying was like, you don't need us to make uh, social impact content or to, you know, to use your voice and go out there and, and make the change that you want to see in the world. Um, you guys have the power and the platform to do it. Um, and so I think that's just, you know, incredibly inspiring. I'm very inspired every day by what you do and all the other YouTube creators uh, in the program and beyond. But really that kind of energy and that, that uh, I think the word I use is ethos existed before the program existed on YouTube and will continue to exist because it's kind of a core part of what YouTube is and I hope will always be. So yeah, um, I, I, I think that's really cool. And I was chatting to some guys tonight and they were saying like, just being here tonight actually changed their whole perspective on YouTube and uh, someone even said it's like changed their life being here tonight and oh, wow. for the videos that you, I showed some little sneak previews but I'm going to link them all below, there's a whole playlist, there's a ton of other videos that Creates for Change ambassadors from around the world have done but you guys have done an amazing job. Thank and, you, thank uh, you. Thank yeah, you. thanks for... On camera hug. Yeah, yeah, thanks for, for involving me. Thank you, thanks Louis. And make sure you guys hit the subscribe button below. <laughs> <laughs> guys, if you want to make content with a message that you believe in, that you want to share stories and amplify people's voices, just go out and do it, just start doing it and um, yeah, I, I'm excited to see a bit of a shift in what's kind of promoted and celebrated on YouTube as a platform uh, because I think sometimes I look at the trending page or I look at what's kind of promoted and I think, ah, I don't know if this is helping the world, you know, I don't know if this is always positive. And I know sometimes my content's a bit light-hearted or I'm just experimenting with things like the tech reviews and stuff, which I think's fine, but I think deep down I definitely want to make a lot more content with powerful messages and cool stories. Um, I'll still be doing the travel vlogs as well, guys. I know I'm grounded right now, I'm not moving a lot, but... Um, yeah, I'm excited about the future, and uh, yeah, yeah. Let me know if there's some cool stories or topics or or things you'd love me to make future videos about. I'd um, yeah, I'm gonna give that a lot of thought. All right, I'll catch you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.